Welcome everyone to breaking news. Firefox 104 is out here August 23rd. Just now recurring theme. The good news is it exceptionally builds. Sometimes uh, we, we have that uh, only constant is change and regressions. This is always a good thing. Stuff builds easily. No patch needed there. So far so good. What is new? Um, <laughs> recurrently what irritates me a tiny little bit is that I expect here like improved performance, like like let's say 5% faster image splitting, HTML parsing, rendering, document tree and, and stuff, JavaScript and so on. But they start here with new subtitles are now available in Disney Plus in picture in picture. It's like who freaking cares, right? Why is that not like a, a footnote there? Um, that irritates me a little bit recurrently with Firefox, right? I would expect each time like 2% faster here, 5% faster there, image splitting, 3 rendering, and so on, but yeah, somehow. Anyway, other good news stuff, Firefox now supports scroll, snap, stop property, as well as resnapping. That is for scrolling a page. Obviously, you can use those scroll, snap, stop properties, always in normal values, specify whether or not to pass the snap points, even with scrolling fast, uh, resnapping tries to keep the last that position, yeah, whatever. Also on the yesterday's video, right, saving energy everywhere, obviously efficiency and also not only for the environment and your wallet, but also for battery life, right? You are in university, school or just work on the go. Energy efficiency obviously also with modern OS, the browsers, everything like nowadays, the OS is basically kind of sort of also the browser, unfortunately, as much as I don't like that. But for those um, developers, battery life energy profiler can analyze power usage. Um, however, only on Apple M1 and Firefox 11, which is like more, more, more seriously. What the why, why even not? I mean, first of all, obviously Linux, the number one desktop operating system, right? According to my own uh, market research. But why not at least all of Mac OS, like Apple M1? Also, does it include M2? I would hope so, but it's like, do you, what, what, why not all of Mac OS and Linux? But I, mean, I understand needs custom code and stuff, but with Mozilla Foundation as big as that is, you would expect some Linux support, but anyway, maybe it's another day. Firefox UA itself will now be throttled for performance better usage when minimized or occluded in the same way as background tabs are. That is certainly nice to know fixed. Highlight color is preserved correctly. Yeah, do whatever after bypassing the HTTPS only error page. Navigation back would take you to the error page that was previously missed. Back now takes you to the previous site that was visited. Uh, paste on formatted. It's the most amazing feature, obviously, right? Um, I'm joking about this, but it is actually, especially on macOS, right? Obviously, we are using Linux here, but. For those on Mac OS, super, the, the, like num, kind of sort of number one most annoying feature of Mac OS, pasting this freaking format um, when everyone and their dog and cat it's like, do why is it you copy and paste something in an email? Why is it another font, another font size? It's like, do the most make freaking like decades later make freaking text without freaking formatting the default. If you didn't even know that, is a thing. There is a paste. Magic, also crazy, right? The Apple menu item paste matching style or so. It's like, do this is like even the name sucks, right? Paste freaking without formatting. Um, but yeah, multi billion dollar company, all they can do is selling iPhones, not not design and UI and consistency and stuff. Anyway, this is a various security fixes, recurring theme here, obviously. Enterprise, who freaking has reverse bug fixes policies have been updated. And so for me, lackluster, right? It is amazing. It's our number one primary browser as much as I don't like some stuff, but Chromium, as, my, as many people in the audience love Chromium, for me as a developer, the most annoying piece of random garbage to build with Google's deep poke code and all the rendering and, and stuff. Probably need to package it someday. The crazy stuff is that as much as the browser is web-centered, Again, I expected improved performance and, and stuff. And then they are hiding those developer features of like the true nature of a browser, HTML, 
no notable changes. Uh, they are also hiding this on another page, but yeah, CSS, uh, some some JavaScript methods here, and why do they have ah HTTP? No, I was HTML HTTP. Uh, also, security no notable changes. Uh, at least not developer. I mean, they say various things fixed, right? Various security fixes. Um, so by the way, good that we clicked on this. Didn't even check that yet. Um, hi. Um, CVE address bar spoofing by XSLT error handling. Cross origin XSLT document would have inherited the parent's permissions. Recording notification not shown when microphone was recorded. Android, okay, that doesn't affect us. But yeah, bugs. And you would also think that this is like a more reliable, like, Oh, as native feature, and not like voluntarily working sometimes so much to good job there, Google with your Android stuff. The taker could write a value to a zero length. Array. Oh, cool. The taker could write a value to the first element of the zero length. JavaScript array, oh, the array was zero length, the value was not written to an invalid memory address. No, nah, okay, that is low. So, memory safety bugs. Um, Reported memory safety bugs present, shown evidence of memory corruption, and were enough efforts. Some of those could have been exploited to run arbitrary code. Uh, some good memory safety bugs, more of those. Safety bugs, uh, evidence of memory corruption, enough effort. Yeah, well, that is the same, it's basically the same text, but, but anyway. Yeah, uh, also enterprise. Oh, wait, you save enterprise changes. Why is this also a little bit silly? Why do they not include. Why do they not like list them here? This is a little bit silly. I mean, it's super short anyway, which somehow also. Also, the crazy stuff if, if we did this recurring theme, right? <laughs> I expect more breaking changes, but that's probably me. I'm thankful they have some change lock here, but nah. Why not include this enterprise here? And this is also a little bit different target audience and stuff, but it's not that long. And I think this would have made this very short listing here so much more useful. Last but not least, we could quickly div it. Um, from my experience, it will be, of course, huge. Um, just I do this mostly for as a service for you. Usually that is in the ballpark of 100,000. Uh, why does this run so long on a horizon? No. Maybe NVMe, mm, whatever. But yeah, this stuff is of course huge. And even the diff that takes yeah, 10,000 files. And that is the crazy, the recurring crazy stuff. Also, this is interesting. So many more insertions than, but this might be, this is probably not new code written. Um, that is most likely, also we might see that in this div stat. So this little change is in no relation of to like half a million lines of code touched here and or inserted in 10,000, over 10,000 files. That is crazy. This is just a recurring reminder how bloated modern software is and what is wrong in the software industry, kind of, sort of, also, some are, some are tests. Or even the, uh, yeah, even it's like scrolling over that, it's even, I would need to sort that better. Of course, a lot of stuff are tests. But in any case, this also, yeah, there's third party, also third party test navigation. What is this third? Yeah, a lot of tests, but from tens of thousands of files and nearly half a million lines of code changed in nearly 200,000 lines code added, you would expect like more outstanding stuff than that, to be fair. But anyway, last but not least, Exceptionally, this is already committed to T2, our tiny just raw vanilla, mostly vanilla Linux distribution hobby here. So you can start playing along at home with that. 
um, it's in there already. Um, just committed live here in the beginning of this live stream. So there is that. Playing long at home on a P3 SG Octane or just your latest and greatest AMD or Intel system there. I hope you learned something. As usual, leave me in the comments below what you think. Um, are you a fan of Firefox, Chrome? And how do you like this, this kind of changes in nearly half a million lines of code? As always, I hope you learned something. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and I'll see you soon for next fun stuff, code, and breaking news to come. At least we had zero frames today. <laughs>